What is Guardamar de Segura all about? Let's find out! It's a typical small village. Here we're located on the high street and just a short stroll down to the beach where you can relax and have an ice cream later. <laughs> we chose Guardamar because we think it's the best place in Spain to live. The untouched beaches, they're very beautiful. What I want is people to feel much better. I believe that the happiness is inside of us and this is a, just a great place to bring it out. Guardamar del Segura lies between Torrevieja and Alicante, on the Costa Blanca south. We are in beautiful Guardamar. Yeah. Interesting to work in those beautiful surroundings, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's amazing because you don't feel like if you were working. You feel like you are on holidays all the time. And your office is just on the main street. Yeah. You are a real estate agency. Yeah. What do you do exactly? Tell us. We do everything. You first come to Spain, listen to you is the first point. We have to listen to you to know what do you need. Because if I don't listen, I'm not going to give you a good world. The most important thing that we do is that if you are the client that is buying, you don't have to pay us the fees. Because you are not making a business, you are giving a business. So you are not paying the fees of the state agents. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's so I come to you, I ask you, I want to buy a house yeah. or I want to rent something, and then? And then you don't have to pay us. You just pay the owner and the owner is the one that is paying us because it's the one that contracts our services. What kind of prices are we looking at here? We are starting the price uh, in this area, depends on the cost of one to invest. Okay, the price is starting 70,000 euros. A maximum, maximum, it is possible that pay, the people pay 500,000 euros for the properties in this place. All customers is international clients, we have. The 95 percent of our clients are international, are not, for, are not Spanish. It's a good moment to investment here because the price in this moment is coming out. Uh, now is the crisis is finished uh, uh, last year. Now the price is coming up. We know at the end of this year the property is probably is five or seven percent more um, more expensive. But the next year is ten or twenty percent more. So 2018 okay. is the year to buy. It, of course, it's the moment. It's the moment to buy. It's the okay. real moment. Because we have a lot of uh, people working investment, only thinking about what is the money come back you know, to his pocket. The moment to buy here in this moment. So there are a lot of towns around Guardamar, but why is this place special? Oh, it's a typical, it's a typical city. It's a typical small village. Oh, of still being in a small village and with an old customer, I mean, all the people are still doing the same from generations and generations. More foreigners, they, get, they are pensioners and they come here. Some families from North Europe, they also come here because of the quality of life. When you have children, you want them to grow up in a very good area. To have an idea of how big the village is and where are we located, you have to go to the castle. We have the street market every Wednesday and start maybe at 8 o'clock in the morning and finish at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I noticed there's a lot of places to walk around. Yeah, we have a lot of green areas. We have a park with some lakes and a lot of animals, fishes, turtles and birds and everything with a playground for the children and you can enjoy and be in contact with the, these animals. We have another park it's a new one and it's like a Gaudi park. Now they have a dog's park, so if you love pets, you have a special place for going there. You can eat also Indian food, Mexican food, uh, Argentinian food. We have 
all the food that, because we're on the coastline, so it's international. Natalia, Peter, Sparok and Guadamar. Why do you like Guadamar? It's a fantastic place. We chose Guadamar because we think it's the best place in Spain to live. It's very good for children, it's very good for adults. We have a fantastic beach, we have a very quiet area, we have a very clean place, it's a very good place. So what do you do here? Well, we decided to open a restaurant here. Well, we have a combination of different cuisines. We have international food, we have Spanish food of course, because we are in Spain, and a touch of Russian food because we are from Russia. And tell me that beautiful name, what does that mean? That means a god that created the universe, god of the sun, and because we are in Spain, that's why the sun, we are from Russia, that's why it's a Svarok, it's our god from the ancient times. Of course we have all the fantastic meats, all the uh, fresh seafood, everything that you can enjoy in different places. But on top of that, which really distinguishes us, is the Russian food and the vegan food. Russian food? Give me some examples. Well, I'll give you an example. It's very famous Russian beetroot soup borscht, very well known, or the Russian stroganoff which is made from the filet mignon. The idea is you eat in Svarok and then just around the corner you have a beautiful promenade. Yes, and then you go to the beach, you have a swim and then you come back for dinner. <laughs> or dessert. The British-Spanish partnership here, Specsavers. Yeah. We have the Spanish for one side, the British for another one. And, and the mix in between because exactly. we're familiar to the, the Nordics and the Scandinavians as well, so we get those coming. This area is very warm for mm. everybody, so it's very interesting, this area. Mm. Good. Yeah. Good. yeah. And what sets you apart, Specsavers? How is it different than other opticians? We run our treatments, our clinics, exactly the same as the UK. So it's not just glasses and out. We do the health checks as well. So we check the fronts of the eyes, the backs of the eyes. We have a retinal camera, so we take photographs of the fundus. We do any referrals. We have a trans if you need it, a translator. We have German speakers, we have Russian speakers, Polish speakers. So we can cover a multitude of nationalities as well. We have the best uh, service and the best value for money, that is what, what this is our... Mm, so we're famous for our two-for-one offers. I know other places do, but ours is always <laughs> that little bit better. Yeah. We're located on the high street and just a short stroll down to the beach where you can relax and have an ice cream later. <laughs> Rivingtons in Guardamar, tell me about your restaurant, Anita. I've had the restaurant for six years, and as soon as I saw this, I took a walk down to the beach and knew this was the right place for us. We're right on the border of Guadamar and La Marina Pueblo. We have the camping right next to us there, so we have all year round clientele from the campsite. We have the beaches, just a walk down the boardwalk. We have a nudist beach to the right, and we have a beach to the left. They're untouched beaches, they're very beautiful. We use a Spanish butcher to buy our meats in. We buy one whole side of the cow, so we, we get really good quality meat. It's a, a breed of meat that's from Galicia, and it's a Galician Rubian cow, and it's bred with a cow from Astoria, so it's very good quality. What else? For vegetarians maybe something? We have a good vegetarian selection. We, we use very good fresh quality food. So we, we look for the best local food. All our fruits and vegetables are from Spanish suppliers. We have a very high Spanish clientele too. So we steered the menu for the Spanish as well, having a selection of tapas and a la carte meals as well. So a la carte starters, main meals, a menu of the day, which the Spanish were, were asking for in the area. Magic Iron, what is it, Hannah? Magic Iron, it's a, my project. It was born two years ago, 
and uh, the base is uh, to helping people make and make their life more easy. What we're offering, it's a door-to-door -door service. We're collecting uh, your ironing or your laundry at your home. We iron it as soon as possible and we get it back to you. This place is working more like a workshop, so we don't have a fast timetable. I'm more working on WhatsApp or on, uh, on email or on telephone. The clients, they call me and uh, or they send me a message, Hannah, can you collect it? Tuesday morning. Around 11, I will be there. See you, bye. How much would it cost to have my uh, shirts iron? 10 shirts, it costs you 11 euros. Collecting it at your home and uh, bring it back to you. I am not ever ironing again. <laughs> That's I hope. <laughs> we also offer carpet cleaning. We collect it at the customer's home. We clean it and in one week, they have it back. Uh, and you came from Czech Republic? Yeah, I came here 17 years ago. The idea was to come for three years and then go home. And here you have me with my children and my Spanish husband and uh, no plans to, to go back. <laughs> so why do you love it so much here? Yeah. I feel home here. I don't know if it's a reincarnation from other lives or what happened, but it was like a come to Spain and uh, getting connection with uh, people with uh, the food, with the language, especially the language I get in love with Spanish because the love songs and everything, it was like, whoa, something is filling me and uh, I'm definitely in love with Spain. Of course, Czech Republic, it's in my heart for always, but here it's my life now. I believe that the happiness is inside of us and this is a, just a great place to bring it out. Like shoes. Yeah, all women love shoes. We are here uh, 42 years making shoes and we have exclusive uh, shoes and designs. Exclusive shoes? You have some special brands? We have uh, the best brands in Spain made in, in Elche and in Elda. All the shoes are made in leather. in the main street near the church. practicing law here in Guadamar. What do you specialize in? Well, I do specialize in conveyancing, inheritance, uh, donations, uh, property law in general, any kind of issue related with non-residents, mm -hmm. basically. English-speaking people, basically. So you have international clients mainly? My clients are 99% English, and uh, well, there are some French, some Belgium, now some, uh, some others, but mainly almost 100% English clients, mm -hmm. yes. Are you from Guadamar? No, I, I'm not from Guadamar. I'm from Barcelona. I've been working here since 2000. Mm -hmm. So obviously all my, my work is here, my, all my clients are around here. And obviously my children are here, mm -hmm. which is the, 
the, the strongest link so far. Yeah, good. So if a person was thinking to move down here and they would need legal advice, you can help them with the move, yes? With I, the house? I can help them with the move and I can help them with all the all the legal needs, all the legal pains they might they might suffer whenever they are moving. So they don't suffer. So they don't suffer, that's the that's the aim. Well Natalia, I think that there is a, a huge gap between all the information about legal issues in in Spain and the people that really need this information, which are non-resident and, and, and people who might be, you know, involved in any legal issue here. What I want is to fill in this gap. I want to explain things very easily, very understandable, in a very simple, in a very simple way. So they can understand, they can understand the position and the legal issue, they can feel at rest, they can have peace of mind. Hence the title of my webpage, which is Spanish Law in Plain English. At the end of the day, the greatest satisfaction I have is when a client, after talking to me, tells me, I feel much better now. What I want is people to feel much better. We hope you enjoyed the film, and to find out more about other towns and the people of the Costa Blanca, tune into our website at apnaucostablanca.com.